Well, it finally got here, the mini excavator. I've got all my release papers. It cost me another 3,500 bucks. So all in all, I'm gonna have about $9,500 tied up in it. But taking the dump trailer and my truck. And believe me, I need it around here. I got a lot of, a lot of stuff that needs to be done around here, so. Be back in a minute when I get there, I guess. Well, I'm here at the warehouse. This is the custom importing warehouse for Atlanta. So I got my paperwork with me. I done checked in. I'm going in here and get it done. All right, I've done the initial sign in. Everything behind this screen is all imported products from China or around the world, I guess. But um, my paperwork's right here. I might have to take it up here to the window and get checked in and then show them my ID to prove who you are. I got pictures of the tags of my truck and trailer. So, um, I guess I'll do a, another one in a minute here of them loading it up, hopefully. Thank goodness there's not a whole bunch of people here. Well, they got a new rule, no uncrating of any freight. So I'll have to take it as it is. No shrink wrapping, nothing on the yard. They charge me another $50 to use the ramp out here. That's the first, usually it's just a, a free charge. But another 50 bucks they got from me. Hopefully I'll get it now without having to tip these guys out here. Be back in a minute. All right, it looks like they're gonna load it. Lady at the um, dispatcher for the freight told me don't move, leave my truck and trailer here. They'll be out here in a minute with the truck forklift and load it. But uh, no unboxing or uncrating of any kind. I probably will have to uh, strap it down. This is a uh, seven by 14 dump trailer. Should be able to slide it right up in here. I got lucky, hit it at the right time. There was about 10 other people came up behind me. And uh, so it had been a lot wait, longer wait in there, but. I really think they're gonna to have to use two forklifts to get it in there. It's showing a weight of 3,500 pounds. So I guess that's every attachment and all I ordered with it. That's pretty heavy. This is a ton and a half unit. So it's, it's bigger than normal ones being imported, which are one tons. As you can see, this is the type of drivers that are still driving. This man's probably been driving his whole life. I see it up there now. It's, it's still crated. Can't retire, still has to drive. Okay, that's it right there. They're gonna to try to pick it up from the end. Don't know if it's gonna be possible. If they bust the crate open, I'm gonna uncrate it. Uh, no, he can't do that. I guess he's just he's just dragging it around. I really thought he would have picked it up from the side. That is a big lift. Mm -hmm.
thought they used two lifts. Alright, let me get out here and help him. It's like the crating is messed up some. Alright, he's going to have to get another lift out here. He can't do it with just that one. I actually think he's got the light end under the forklift there. So it shouldn't be any problem with it fitting on here. It's a little bit longer than what I thought it would be. So yeah, see right there where it says made in China. Yeah, here comes another one. I was right, the heavy ends on the end going on the trailer. It's got it up right there. Now he's just gonna shove it in. I think if he'd have picked it up on the other end, he could have done it with that one lift. I'll be sure I got my brakes set. Since I'm running DOT numbers, they let me in here. Yep, looks like he's got it now. Looks like we got it now. A little bit more. Kind of get the weight situated. That's good. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, I might have to see if it's top heavy or not. I might have to tie it down. Okay, I got it on here and I got up there and tested it. It's not top heavy, so I'm I'm ready to go. All right, we're unloading it. I got two forklifts. He's dumping it up because the guy put it with the heavy end on it of inside there. Keep going up, Kevin. We're moving a little bit now. Patrick, get back under it some more.
I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Should lift it. Keep, yeah, keep dragging it out some, Patrick. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep going a little bit, about another foot. Probably pick it up there and I just drive out. Let him drive yeah, and I drive out. You can back up a little bit more. Okay. All right, we're gonna pick up with the other one and I'm gonna drive out. All right, we got them all. I got minor stuck here. Oh, he's out. Alright, we got it in. We're gonna get some stuff to get the crating off. Big hammer out. Some real cheap plywood, isn't it? That's a crew here. Oh, there's no damage. And the crate apart. And there it is. There it is. Looks like it made it in one piece. There's the bush cutter. Post hole digger. They told me they was gonna give me another bucket. Quick change attachment. What is this thing? Oil fuel? I don't know. Put the top on it. Okay, the engine's already got oil in it. Down here on the blower housing, it had the original plastic that covered it, so if you didn't get it off, it would not get air to the engine. Okay, the fill for the gas under the seat. This has got the remotes up here, up here, instead of down here on the console. It is out of hydraulic oil. There's no showing in the thing here. But yeah, this thing looks like it's built pretty good to me. It does have the um, weird grease fittings that 
be changed. So, and like I said, that's the bush brush cutter. Quick hitch attachment. It, it looks pretty decent if you ask me. It is a ton and a half. the choke right here this is the on off switch for the batteries so the remote side this comes down it's like one of the bigger excavators joystick controls key switch and throttles over here on the side Check the operation of it. It does have a push button. So it doesn't look like it's hooked up. Nothing moved down here. Yes, I was looking at the wrong one. It is hooked up. You see the exhaust comes through the back here. It does have a hole that may need to be extended. There's a latch here for opening. Check the oil right in here, and it is full. Good solid back brace on it. So it does have these armrests and armrests on the seats. These are reversible, so you can reverse that around. Here's for the headlight. It's got three other compartments here for other attachments, I guess. Come with a whole array of different keys. So that, that's the engine key. I guess these are for the uh, compartments. This is hydraulic oil. So that's lock it if you want. Tracks look good. Good strong looking push uh, blade on, on the front. Yeah, it all looks pretty good to me. Fittings for uh, to drive the pump on this. I don't know why they're wide open. No instructions. There's a spare hose over here that came with it. Little toolbox. Got a grease gun and another filter in there. A hydraulic filter looks like. But over and all, this thing looks pretty nice. It ain't bad. I'm we'll gonna put some fuel in it and we'll fire it up and drive it off of this and see how it does. I just pointed this out. It did come with a tools box. All right, he's cranking it up. Can't keep it running. get the motor out from under there. Yeah. Lift your blade up. Lift the blade up, Kevin. Do it by your feet. Lift the blade up by your feet. Push on it. I know, he's got to lift the blade up.
until the auger is jammed under it. He got it out. White cabin. The claw. All right, he's driving. He's driving it. He don't know how to drive. Looks like it's gonna do okay. Like it's got plenty of power. It looks pretty good. It's doing pretty good. I gotta go park the truck. I guess he's headed off to dig something.